Hi there is beautiful earth angels. How are you doing? This is Grace Faye here to do your weekly oracle card reading for the week of February 15, 2016. So we're into February and I am so sorry for being MIA for so long because um exams has been here and um right after exams I went to Australia for a break so I took a hiatus and then something happened when I'm in Australia some supernatural things happened and then um, I need to center myself before I actually give you guys um, some positivity through the video and blog and Facebook so um, I'm actually still accepting readings despite my condition but um, so far, I have been coping well, so for those who are worrying about me, thank you so much. And um, I am feeling so much better, brighter, and lighter now, so yay! <laughs> Alright, so for the week of February 15, 2016, well, um, the Earth has been changing because of the season so there are some changes going through and transformation oh and before I forget happy lunar new year to my fellow friends who are celebrating the Chinese new year it's the year of the monkey I heard it's fire monkey fire monkey so <laughs> all right so I'm shuffling through this card so I'm using the Angels of Atlantis by Stuart Pierce it's beautiful artwork and this card just resonated with me so strongly so I had to use this for this week all right so I am going to do the six card spread to know more about this week okay so what do we need to know for the best possible outcome and highest good so first card what do we need to know? What we should be? Past and present? Near future? What we should avoid during this week? And what we should look forward to action upon to reach what we should be, which is courage. I'll show you the cards after I get them. Alright, so let's begin so the first card we have here is Archangel Raziel with dreams second we have here is Archangel Haniel with courage the third card we have here is Archangel Michael with enchantment and the fourth card we have here is Archangel Shamuel with serenity and then we have Archangel Xenophon with planetary cycles and the last one, we have Archangel Xenophon again with Evolution. Okay, so what we are in this week is actually Archangel Raziel, which he states here dreams, okay? So this week for some of you, you may be feeling slightly more sensitive and there are like dreams coming in. So basically, what you're dreaming, you can actually relate to the real life. So it may be something that has happened during the day or it may be happening the next day so um or maybe a few days after it's more like a deja vu but it's not really a deja vu it's more like a vision okay so please do pay attention to the dreams that you have during the night and what i'm hearing is that some of you are not sleeping at all you guys are not sleeping very well um it seems like there's some insomnia going on so you may want to get some lavender essential oils to calm yourself down or if you don't like lavender you can actually um go for some bergamot or something that's relaxing something that you like and calming as well so I'm hearing that you can actually take a foot bath, you know, soak your feet into a lukewarm water, okay? So that one actually helps to calm your nerves before you go to sleep. And I'm hearing yoga as well. Wow, so many things coming in. Uh, yoga, okay? Um, 
put your feet um like rest your feet on the wall you know and then just lay down there like 90 degrees you're lying down and then your legs are like up so basically that's how the blood flows back and really helps you to relax yourself during the night okay you can just google some nighttime bed poses before you go to sleep you know and of course hydrate yourself this is what i'm hearing so many guidance this week okay so <laughs> dreams okay so what i'm also hearing is some people are um really sensitive this week so please um be kind to yourself and be more compassionate and merciful do not be too harsh on yourself okay so past and present okay archangel michael with enchantment so <clears throat> there is some positivity going on here playfulness the energy of playfulness and of course magic okay magic is in the air for those of you who believes in magic this week is especially magical for all of you all of us okay so see sorry you hear the wind howling it's really windy here in singapore and i have no idea why it has been going on for days i guess so okay back to enchantment this feeling is very magical very positive very light feel and i do believe that it's because of the sensitivity so um it's calling your inner child out to actually come out and play so you may be feeling really like childlike it suddenly becomes very um silly you you'll want to do silly things and you are very attracted to toys these days you know like your childhood stuff so basically um just let it be okay um if people find that you're so silly just let it be okay this is your stro your story and this is what's happening to you so don't mind what others are actually saying about you okay just have fun all right and of course um what you have to avoid this week is actually planetary cycles like i said before there's some changes taking place um in the northern and southern hemisphere but it's because of the seasons changing so for um the southern no the northern hemisphere i guess i can't remember which one um i think it's changing to the autumn okay um for those who are in australia the seasons are changing to autumn so it may be cooling and of course um your emotions will start to feel a bit dull you know because it's going to be winter time and for those of you who are in the southern hemisphere like for example china uh, hong kong malaysia indonesia singapore well we are going to experience spring and summer all right so it's a really playful bright and positive energy like fertile energy so really make use of this time to take action okay because this is the most energizing time so take action do whatever that you want to do go for it okay just take a leap of faith and just go for it all right so what we should be this week is actually courage okay archangel haniel um is asking us to be courageous like i said just now um we should avoid being scared all right so it flows like that take back your power okay you really have to be grounded in your passions and whatever that you do of course well when, when you're chasing your dream of course you believe in uh, miracles you believe in magic but of course in order to be really successful you have to stamp yourself down you know like really be rooted be practical um be reliable you know all the qualities and make sure that your dreams are actually grounded not floating upwards because when you're floating upwards it's there you know you can't actually reach it right so you have to 
bring it down and really have the courage to 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 do it to reach your goal to reach your dream whatever that you want to do okay and for those who are, of you who are a bit lost um you may need to do some grounding meditation centering meditation okay like the silver method or maybe some guided meditations all right it will definitely help and um to help you become courage this week it's evolution okay changes so in order for you to be courageous you must release whatever that is no longer serving you no longer having um the power you know to help you uh the things that you feel unloved you have to let it go so surrender and release in order to actually gain all the positivity in your life like the old chinese saying um if you if you release the old the new will automatically come in okay so this week is a week to do that really release everything and then take in all the all the good okay especially during this lunar new year period it is especially potent the energies okay um we have a 15 day lunar new year period so this period is really a crucial period for us to actually remain positive uplifted so that the year of monkey will actually be successful lucky and prosperous for us chinese all right so here's a tip for you and of course in the near future when we actually um take care of the guidance you know follow through all this archangel shamiel here is with um serenity all right so when you actually take action towards your dreams you actually feel more comfortable uh sorry comforted and secure and you're not so worried you know because you're grounded you know what you want to do you know uh what is taking place you know what you want and so in the near future Archangel Samuel is saying that we'll have serenity okay we'll be more serene we'll be more peaceful not be so worked up uptight anxious and worried so it is what it is guys <laughs> you have to work for your dreams okay no matter whether it's difficult or easy but just be grounded okay and of course changes are taking place just go with the flow all right um yeah so there are no other messages coming through so have a great beautiful week guys i'm sending you lots of love and light and angel blessings and from my heart to yours namaste